Space Shuttle Atlantis now in view of the uh, cameras there at the Kennedy Space Center. Its speed 2,900 miles per hour, its altitude 20 statute miles. Its range there from KSC 127 miles. Yes, our long range camera has a tally ho. Copy. Didn't work. Atlantis, you can take air data. Copy, taking air data. That call confirming that the two air data probes on the left and right of Atlantis's nose have been deployed and are receiving good data on the shuttle's uh, position and speed. And data now being updated in the shuttle's guidance and navigation computers. Atlantis's current speed, Mach 2.8. Its altitude 16 miles, range to the Kennedy Space Center 77 miles. Sonic booms now audible over Florida as Atlantis continues to head toward the Kennedy Space Center. Its current speed 1,300 miles per hour, its altitude 14 miles. Range to the Kennedy Space Center now 68 miles. Space Shuttle Atlantis now in its final moments of flight. Five and a half minutes to go till touchdown. Atlantis, you are on energy, approaching the hack. No changes to winds or weather. You'll be nominal shoot deploy. Copy. No changes. Nominal shoot. Good read back. Atlantis' current speed, Mach 1.6. Its altitude, 12 miles. Range to the Kennedy Space Center, 41 miles. Continuing to uh, bear down on runway 33. Atlantis now just five minutes away from touchdown. It is approaching what is known as the heading alignment cylinder. This is an imaginary circle that is created by the microwave landing system there at the Kennedy Space Center. It sits off the end of the runway and is about seven miles wide. Commander Ken Ham will take control of the flight at that point in time and will uh, steer the shuttle around that imaginary circle. This will allow the uh, proper energy and the ground track and set up for the final approach and landing there at KSC. This is a view from the heads-up display. This is exactly what the crew is seeing at this point in time. Atlantis' current speed, 653 miles per hour. Its altitude, 9 miles. Its range to the Kennedy Space Center, now 30 miles. Touchdown now just four minutes away. Pilot Tony Antonelli now taking control of the stick for a few minutes. 
Steering Atlantis around this heading alignment circle. This is a right overhead turn of 320 degrees. This will set up the shuttle for its final approach and landing there on runway 33. Now just three minutes to go. The shuttle's traveling 547 miles per hour. Its altitude's six miles. And Houston Atlantis, field and flight. Yeah, good luck with that one. Now the commander, Ken Hem, now taking control of the shuttle. Yes, you're on at the 180. Copy, on at the 180. It's a beautiful day. Absolutely. Two and a half more minutes to go in Atlantis's flight. There you see the Florida coast coming into view. The uh, shuttle continuing to turn to the right and line up with runway 33 at the Kennedy Space Center. Commander Ken Ham continuing to finish up this heading alignment circle turn. Atlantis, you are on at the 90. Copy, on at the 90. In just a few seconds, the uh, shuttle's crew will get their first view at the Kennedy Space Center. Atlantis now traveling 400 miles per hour. Now the left side of the cockpit has the runway in sight. Copy that, Hawk. Field in sight. Once again, this is the heads-up display that Commander Ken Ham is taking a look at as he pilots Atlantis down toward this runway. Space Shuttle Atlantis now traveling 389 miles per hour. It is now on final approach to the Kennedy Space Center. During this point in the flight, the shuttle's descent rate is 20 times steeper than a commercial airliner. Its angle of attack more than seven times steeper. Now under one minute to go in Atlantis's flight. Atlantis now beginning what is known as the pre-flare maneuver. It will pull the nose up a little bit right before it uh, hits the runway. Its speed now 320 miles per hour. The gear is down and locked. Main gear touchdown. Atlantis' nose being now rotated down toward the runway. The uh, chute being deployed. And nose gear touchdown. Space Shuttle Atlantis now comes home to the Kennedy Space Center for the final time. 25 years, 32 flights, and more than 120 million miles traveled. The legacy of Atlantis now in the history books. We'll stop Atlantis. Sock, that uh, landing was something that your Air Force crewmate should have really been proud of. That looked pretty sweet. Uh, for you and your crew, uh, that was a, a suiting in to an incredible mission. I'm sure the station crew members hated to see you leave, but we're glad to have you back. And uh, you guys executed flawlessly. 
and not only that, you had a great time doing it, and that was very evident from the ground, and everybody down here really enjoyed working with you. With that, we'll get you back to work. We'll meet you in the post-landing page 5-3. There are no deltas. Okay, Scott, thanks, and uh, thanks to all you guys, too. We'll go over to 5-3, and uh, we'll finish up post-landing and turn this incredible machine back over to the ground teams to put her back in the barn for a little bit. Yeah, hey, we concur. And with those words from STS-132 Commander Ken Ham talking with the Capcom Charlie Hobah here inside Mission Control Houston, Atlantis has uh, wrapped up a 32-year career, 32 missions, as well as this 132 flight. It traveled 4,879,978 miles on this STS-132 mission.